Okay guys, good morning. This is the earliest we've probably ever been up in Ibiza in my whole entire life. 7.30, it's now 9.30. Been lying in bed for two hours, so that's not the best way to start the day. But we got a 92% recovery last night, which means it's time to go hard today. So I'm gonna start our day with the usual go screens, one scoop, and some hydration. And we're gonna do two scoops of this. Under it home. Hold it for a minute. This is CBD from Pure Sport. Absolute game changer. Mm. Hold it for one minute. A few moments later. And then me and Jakey boy are gonna start a day right by going on a hike. Also, we're exactly a week into the diet and we've already lost. I was 90.9 kilograms last week and now I'm 89.9 so a kilogram a week is pretty good going so in the mornings on the way to our hikes we always like to listen to a little bit of country music just gets us right in the mood for up for the day doesn't it gets us going boss we love it where are we we're at um Jordy's bike shop and we're gonna get a um pre-hike espresso What an absolutely insane morning. The sea is so calm. What do you think of it, Jakey? It's banging. Isn't it? Yeah. It really is banging. What an absolute vibe. So, we're at Ses Salinas. Uh, I've got my app again, Wikiloc or whatever it's called. We're just gonna follow someone else's trail. They're doing an 11 kilometer trail, we're gonna just do five kilometers today because we like our five kilometer trails, don't we boss? So I think we're gonna go right up there. Also, I just realized something else. Steve Cook range from Gymshark, my new favorite range. I said that the shorts don't have pockets, so the actual, these shorts don't have pockets, but the under shorts have pockets and the phone sits in there just perfect. So if you're buying anything from the Steve Cook range, especially the shorts, I recommend you get the base layer ones too because you need pockets in this day and age. Hi. Morning. How are you? Yeah, right. Very Not good. How is it up there? Mate, it's pretty mozzy and festive, you know? Is it? Yeah, it's proper hardcore. Like, there's so many mozzies, that's why I got this up. But beautiful, I mean, the views are yeah. insane. Did you camp up there? Yeah, we camped over the other side, yeah. Oh, really? It's insane, man. But it was a hard night, you know, wake up at four. Wow. Hardly slept, very hot. That's insane, though. Yeah, it's good. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah. You're looking well, guys. Where are you off to? We're just going to the top. How's it going? Yeah, 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 we found you. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoy yeah. the hike. You're not actually allowed up the top. Are you not? No. This is nothing for us, boys. That is mental. Yeah, so I'd definitely say this is the most challenging hike we've done so far. Would you? Yeah, loads of loose rocks, steep. Up and down, lots of ups and downs, and we're literally right on the edge of a cliff all the way along the coast. So it's very, very spectacular. Definitely one thing that's annoying is just the mosquitoes, that guy was right. Yeah, the mosquitoes aren't keeping We're literally getting attacked, so every time you stop, you get attacked, so we need to keep moving. <laughs> Sabi, it's not even steep. <laughs> I'm literally like a mountain goat. Jake's a little bit unsteady on his feet because he says he's got blisters. Okay guys, so we found this little coastal area where we'll meet the sea again. We're down at sea level again, and I think the rest of the path is fairly flat. But I honestly don't think too many people do this hike. It's very, very isolated. I'm actually shocked there's a man on the beach. Like, I don't know if he's homeless. Looks like he's been parked up there for a while anyway. Whoa, this is all seaweed. Guys, if I'm not mistaken, I think over here is the Trinxer Beach. 
one of our favorites. So I think me and Sammy may have overshot the runway. This is a lot further than what we expected. We've been walking an hour and 40 minutes and I don't even, even halfway. Yeah, there. we're not even halfway around. <laughs> we're so thirsty, dehydrated and absolutely starving, but we're burning calories and getting shredded. So that's all that matters, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> And we are back. The car is literally just over here. Okay guys, so we got to Retrogusto. We burnt like 950 calories on that hike. I would say it was probably closer to a thousand because I did stop the watch and forget to continue it at some point. Breaking the fast with a delicious cappuccino. Oh my God. The best coffee on the island, in my opinion. Also got a, like a breaded chicken salad and an <laughs> acai bowl. Well deserved after that hike. Okay guys, so after a few hours of tanning, on the roof. I also did a stretching routine which I filmed on my phone and the phone overheated and then I lost it so I'm sorry about that. My stretching routine will be available on my app when it's ready in the next six weeks I hope. Right now we're getting in a scoop of Ghost Hydration Kiwi Strawberry. Probably the best product to be invented yet for me specifically because when I'm out here running in Ibiza the amount of sweat you lose is ridiculous. Honestly, the best ever. You could take it before you run, or you can take it after you run. You can take it during your run. Basically, whenever you're excessively sweating is the best time to take it. Okay, so it's just gone seven o'clock. Sun doesn't set until like half eight, nine o'clock now, so plenty of time for a run. I'm not gonna go too fast because I don't have my headphones and I just don't want super high tempo, just relaxed, chilled vibes. And yeah, let's get the glasses on, get on our way. That was a lot harder than expected. 28 minutes for the 5K. The heart rate as well was honestly through the roof. It was so much hotter than what I expected. So that kind of threw me off, but we got it done. We've literally burnt so many calories today. It's insane. So tonight we can feast, which is what it's all about. And like I said, you might be thinking I'm overdoing it on the exercise and stuff, but in Ibiza, it's sunny, it's hot. It's beautiful. It makes you want to get outside and do activity because who wants to sit in the apartment on a day like this? So, quick shower and then dinner. Okay hey guys, quick plug, Legend London. 32 regular in the jeans. And these are by far my favorite jeans. The fit is good because it's not, it's not too tight, but it's not too baggy like Jake's, show <laughs> Jake's. <laughs> Welcome back on that. So if you want to buy some sick jeans from Legend London, use my code Louis, save yourself some money. And yeah, let's go and get some sushi. Okay guys, so unfortunately Wakame is closed on Tuesdays. I remember this from last year, but I didn't remember until we got here. So that is an absolute shame. Um, and now we're going to have to rethink and replan. Kaikso. 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 If we can get it, let's go try. Right, okay, so you're probably wondering why we always eat at the same places. It's because they're so good. Kaigso and the sushi place are like our top two favorites. So that's why we're here. We know the menu and we know we're going to get a good feed. Cheers, boys. It's been a while. It has. Okay, guys, so we have some bread and tomato with some Iberian ham. Literally the best thing in the world. And then here we've got tuna tartare with avocado, coconut. Literally unbelievable. Let's dig in, boys. So tonight we're probably gonna have two or three canyas. We've done a lot of exercise today, so we deserve it. I think per canya, I reckon like 150 calories. I'll put it on the screen to be sure. But this is the best dish in Ibiza, in my opinion. You get the ham, you put it on the bread and the tomato. Oh my God. They look unbelievable. A little bit of a disaster there, but it's okay. The reason that I did so much exercise today was so that I can eat big meals. 
normally if I ate a meal like that, I would literally have completely ruined my diet because there was a lot of fat and that 80 grams of fat, 58 grams of carbs, 63 grams of protein. So like 1,400 calories in total. So a super heavy, high calorie meal. Once again, we did only eat two meals today, so it is fine. And we burn, how many calories today? 3,700 calories. So we had room to play with, but that's not the best meal to go for. You think it's tapas, so you think you're only having little bits and bites of everything, but actually you're excessively going over your calories. So don't recommend tapas if you're on a diet. Luckily, some can do it, like me, and we're still losing weight, but it's time to go to bed. Nice early night because we're moving into our new apartment tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Use all my links down below in the description. Support your boy, follow Jake, follow Joel, and I'll see you guys in the next one.